You're going to come over by yourself. You're not going to know anyone. You're not going to know your way around. If you don't speak the language, you're going to be in trouble. What you gain by coming on tour, you will spend plus some if you come over on your own. You know, I do get asked a lot of different questions about, um, about coming on tour here in Ukraine. And one of the questions um, I've been asked is, do I need to go on a tour if I have no intentions on finding a wife? You know, to answer that, I can give you a perfect example. And that example is my friend Dave. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the video of um, David about, you know, his tragic loss of his wife and his daughter, um, him basically withering away in his basement. Um, he was pretty much forced to come on the tour. He was, it was in Kyiv. The girls in the hospitality suite came up to me and says, Joe, you need to talk to Dave. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to date anyone. He doesn't want to meet anybody. So I spoke to Dave after he told me his, his story, my heart went out to him. So we basically, you know, we're going to accommodate him by basically giving him one of, um, letting one of our staff members become his tour guide and take him around the city. Um, we didn't want to force him to date. You know, David had a good time. We we're going on to Botava, where he didn't want to go. He wanted to stay in Kiev. But once again, I told him, hey, Botava is an interesting city. It's smaller, but interesting. And uh, we'll do the same thing. He said, fine. So he went on to Botava. He ended up going to the social there. And at the social, he met his future wife. Um, it was interesting because Nina had lost her husband same way as David lost his wife and daughter. So they, they formed a relationship. They ended up getting married. They moved, he, David moved to Botava where uh, him and Nina had a, a baby girl. Why I'm telling you this is that David had no intentions on finding even a girlfriend, let alone a wife. But yet he still came on the tour. He had a great time and he, he met his future partner, you know. It's a great story, but it happens more so than you'd actually believe, you know? I mean, guys come over here, they think, hey, it's great, I can, um, I can get to see another country, be on vacation, and date beautiful women, which is great. And then before you know it, you're sitting in, in front of somebody like, oh my God, we have so much in common, you know? I mean, this woman is smart, she's beautiful, She's interested in me, and before you know it, you're, you're in a relationship. But, you know, it doesn't always end that way. The worst that's gonna happen is you're gonna have one hell of a vacation, okay? Because when you're coming on tour, you're not alone. You have all, all the assets, all the benefits that, you know, a foreign affair has to offer. We're here to help you. Whether that be getting a date, or, you know, getting tickets to the opera. We're gonna help you with that, okay? So yeah, it's, it's, it's a vacation with a twist. Because if you're gonna come over by yourself, you, you're, not gonna know, you're not gonna know anyone. You're gonna be coming here on your own. Um, you're, not, not, you're not gonna know your way around. If you, speak the lang if you don't speak the language, you're gonna be in trouble. If you speak the language, great. Um, but a lot, of, um, a lot of people back home don't speak Ukrainian nor Russian, so. It's if you add it up, what you gain by coming on tour, you will spend plus some if you come over on your own. So that's my suggestion.